हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल स्पार्क वाला सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टेल अबाउट हाउ टू अप्लाई फॉर नेट्स सो व्हाट इज नेट्स नेट्स इज नेशनल अप्रेंटिसिप ट्रेनिंग स्कीम इट इज इंप्लीमेंटेड एज अ वन ईयर प्रोग्राम टू प्रोवाइड अप्रेंटिसिप ट्रेनिंग टू द टेक्निकली क्वालिफाइड फ्रेश इंजीनियरिंग ग्रेजुएट्स सो सो फ्रेंड्स इफ यू आर गेटिंग प्लेस्ड इन एनी एम और आई कंपनी so they ask for nets id so in order to generate the nets id we have to apply from nets portal so let us see how to apply for nets so open your browser and type nets and click enter after this you will come here at this page and you will look the first result national apprenticeship training scheme nets you click here after this you will come here and click on enroll option if you have not enrolled it if it is first time then you click on enroll option and if you have already enrolled then click on login option and login through your credentials and then from there you can update or do anything but if you are a new and you want to get your nets id so first you have to enroll in the nets portal so click on this enroll option as you click on the enroll option you will get on this page so basically in this page it is checking your eligibility so in this section click on the drop down list here as you click on here you will get three options a student an institution and establishment so click on a student as you click on the student it will refresh and then other students related questions appear here so it is saying i am a student a permanent resident of and as you choose this drop down list you will get all the states from india choose the state where you belong to and after this it is saying i would like to enroll myself in the nats portal after this i and click here on the drop down list have completed i am doing basically it's just asking whether you have completed your graduation or is still pursuing your graduation so you have to choose whether you have completed or you have you are yet to complete so choose accordingly i have chosen i have completed then again at my and click on here drop down list and select what type of graduation you are doing graduation or diploma as you click this option after this it will auto automatically come here 2021 and then through the mode of education it's asking which kind of through which mode of education you have taken your graduation or diploma so three options will come regular part time distance so choose accordingly i have chosen regular and it's asking have you undertaken any previous training as a part of apprenticeship program so i will select no if you have done you can select yes do you have any work experience of one or more if you have click on yes don't have click on no and then it's saying congrats you are eligible to enroll so after this it's showing some mandatory documents which you will need to enroll yourself in the nets portal so first is aadhar card then valid personal email id mobile number because personal email id and mobile number will be verified through otp passport size passport format should be in jpg and its size should be less than 200 kb aadhar card must be connected through your bank account and qualifying degree provisional certificate must be in pdf format which is which should be less than 1 mb and then you have, you must have your bank passbook first page of bank passbook or bank account statement and it should be in pdf format which should be less than 1 mb after this you have to click on i have above data as you will click on i have above data it will so here means let's get started basically here they will ask your email id phone number and they will uh, give a section to write your name and you have to set your password so as you click on this email id section you have to write your email id and after clicking on send ops or otp it will generate otp at your email id then you have to write this otp and your email will be verified similarly your phone number will be come and after that after that you have to give the otp for your phone number as you will give the otp for your phone number 
then after this it will be automatically verified then it will ask for name of the student you should write your name here and you should set up a password set up a strong password and then again write your password and then click on save on and continue okay after clicking on save and continue option the questionnaire and guidelines section appears read the guidelines required enrollment documents and the terms and condition and then select the this option by clicking the box i agree to above terms and conditions okay and check the box click agree and continue and enrollment form section appears with personal information education details and training preferences okay so you will get a page like so there will be four sections like eligibility check questionnaire and guidelines enrollment form preview and confirm till now we have uh, done questionnaire and guidelines we we are in the enrollment form section now and in enrollment form section basically we have to fill our personal information education details and training preferences so let's see what we have to fill here in the basic information we have to upload our photo and then we have to write basically our details name of student father's name mother's name date of birth aadhar card number you have to select whether you are male or female or others and then we have to upload the government id card it should be in uh, a pdf format and less than 1 mb okay so these are the details you have to fill i think you can fill these details uh, similarly in com communication information also you have to fill and after that you have to give your bank information after this Uh, when you will give bank information there is a option to save and continue option after clicking on the save and continue option you will refer uh, redirect it to next page in the education details sections see uh, as you will fill your details the, the your percentage will also increase like here you see a uh, 50% till now we have filled two uh, three blocks like eligibility check questionnaire guidelines and enrollment form we have done personal information so it's showing 50% after this we have to fill out education details so it is uh, giving two options graduation after 10 plus 2 and graduation after diploma if you have done graduation after diploma then you must select this option and if you have done graduation after 10 plus 2 you must select this option after this you have to fill your details like graduate in graduate section you have to give state in which university belongs name of university and these details you can fill it's very simple and after this after uh, if this elective subjects uh, no need to fill if you have done you can fill if not done then please ignore this after this you have to upload your documents qualifying degree or provisional certificate so friends uh, if you are in final year and you have not got your results you can upload the pdf results of 7th and 8th sem and if it is also not available then you can uh, directly upload the third year mark sheet basically they uh, ask for mark sheet which has uh, a written statement about the uh, passing of your uh, year so after you upload and click on save and continue you will come to uh, next page next section means you will come on training preferences so the training preferences section so, uh, will be like this so uh, please don't uh, click on anywhere and don't fill anything so, uh, it is optional you uh, you if you will not choose then also it will be good so don't choose anything and directly uh, click on this and click on save and preview as you click on save and preview then in this preview and confirm section Uh, read the declaration and then select by clicking this box i agree to above terms and continue check box then click save and preview after you click on save and uh, preview this will show like this uh, like this student enrollment has been created successfully so it will give email id a user id and password so through this credential you will be able to log in into the next uh, nets portal after you click on close and continue you will be redirected to the login uh, portal so we will be redirected to the login page there the we can write our email id and password which we just got after the preview section and we have to enter the captcha and when we will click login we will go to the uh, our page main page so my profile sections will look like this when you will 
login through your credentials from here you can see what all the things uh, you can update later and whatever changes you can make all the changes you can make from here okay so friends it pin will be generated in three or four days i think uh, in three or four days it will be generated and after that you can use that in your company if it is asking so friends if you like this video please subscribe this channel thank you very much